Yay, yay, Top of Dr. Detail, and you are now tuned in to the doctor's office. Uh, I'm here on location right now about to perform an interior detail, uh, waiting on my client to pull up. So I just wanted to holler at y'all real quick, man. I got something on my mind, man, and I want y'all to start making it count, man. Make it count, no matter what you're doing. It don't matter what you're doing. This video, this video specifically is about your work and your financial uh, situation, but it applies to everything though, whatever it is you got going on, make sure you make it count. So you at work, you get up every day, Monday through Friday, Monday through Saturday, Monday through Sunday, whatever your schedule is, you the one that got to get up and go break your back to make that check, right? You got to wait every week, bi-weekly, once a month, every day, every other day, whatever, however your pay period is, you got to wait on that bread. You got to go put the work in first before you get that bread. Yeah, I know, man. That's that's crazy right there. That, that's crazy how that's set up. But that's how it is. So since it's like that, let's make it count when we get it. Let's not frivolously spend our money on stuff that we shouldn't be spending it on all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's make it count. When we get the bread, let's put it up toward things that we know we gonna need. We know we gotta pay that rent once a month. We know we gotta pay that light bill, phone bill, possibly car note once a month. You know, if you ain't getting no food stamps, then you know you got that food bill once a month or however you do weekly. You know, you gotta put gas in your vehicle every week and you know what you gotta spend weekly, bi-weekly, monthly. You know what you got to do. You got to do it, though, in order for you to move ahead, in order for you to sustain a stable life. You have to do that. So put your money toward what got to be done. Feed what got to be done. Everything that don't got to be done, let's put that on the back burner. We're going to put that on the back. We ain't going to say we ain't going to do it. Some stuff we can cut out and quit doing. But if you're not going to cut it out, just put it behind what got to be done. Because see, now what you're doing now, you're making your money count. You're making your bread count. You're making it count. You ain't just going to work, blowing your money. And now toward the end of the month, you got to call mama and daddy and grandma and auntie, sisters and cousins to borrow an extra $150, $175, $200 because you're short on your rent or you're short on your bills or you're short on whatever it is that you need. Because the last two, three weeks out the month, you didn't, uh, 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 you wasn't being mindful with your bread and you didn't put it up. Make it count. Cause especially when you working for somebody and you're doing something you don't want to do and you don't like doing it, it make you, it, it, it makes you dread doing it. It makes you dread doing it. You don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? It make you not want to do it no more. You don't look forward to doing it because it's like, oh, man, I got to go to work for 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16 hours, but I'm broke. Even when I clock out, I'm still going to be broke. <laughs> I'm about to go clock in 12, 16 hours for somebody else broke. And when I clock out, I'm still going to be broke because they're not going to give me that money right now. I got to wait two weeks or a week. So make it count. It make you take a little more pride into your work when you wake up and you got money and everything is taken care of. I'm not saying you rich financially, million dollar man or woman, but if you uh, wake up in the morning and your rent and your bills and everything is paid, nothing is past due, nothing is in disconnect, and you ain't worried about it, everything paid, and you got money, and you got money though. You got money put up, you got money saved, you got money towards the next bill and rent cycle, like your money is good. You ain't worried about that financially. It make you take pride in your work. It makes for a better day. You increase your chances of having better days when your money is right. So make it count, please, man. Don't be out here just working for nothing. And when I say working for nothing, I don't mean don't go out here and get a job making minimum wage or $9. Nah, man, because it really, man, it really, it's not what you make. It's what you do with what you make. And it's just that simple. Don't be out here working $9 an hour and you go get you a house where your rent is fucking $900 a month. You tripping. Don't do that. Make it count. Get the bread. Make it count. Get the bread. Make it count. Grind. Get the bread. Make it count. All right? Make it count. Dr. Detail.